and we're back with Christmas music. Uh, let's see those sieges work out for us. As I discussed, we're not reinforcing armies right now. And we're keeping our money together as well. We can speed this up a little bit more. There they are counter sieging, so we will probably have to deal with this at some point. But for now, we're just going to take the capital. And now we're going to attack. As I said, usually you wouldn't use a speed setting like I'm doing. My cynical comments have made people look at things my way. I've created more cynics. Great. Uh, we could compose a book because we have the money again. We're not going to do it. So he is actually in a pretty terrible position because right now uh, he is also being attacked by one of his neighbors up here. Um, so that's not really working out for him. And we're going to beat him in this one siege. There we go. Actually, we didn't even have to finish the siege. We're going to finish the siege before we sue for peace. Why? Because winning siege just gives a little bit of gold. Uh, as you can see over here, we earned 26 gold in the siege. That's really So now, he gives us 272 gold. It's a little less than we might have gotten earlier, but that's nice. We get a whole lot of piety from it. Some prestige. And of course, we have won a major engagement. And we can finally put our troops back to have a little bit of rest as they deserve it. Now, another thing that we should look into is building up a little bit. Can't build another castle. Um, we're not going to build up anything else here. Luckily, we're pretty well developed as it stands. Let's check our neighbors here. Oh, she's really weak. Where are you at war with? Okay. The Ayubid em Emirate are... Oh, she's attacking. Oh. He's attacking Emir Alziz Muhammad of the Ayyubid Emirate. Why would you do that, girl? Okay, let's see, what can we do? We could take Alexandria in a border dispute. Or we could establish another tributary state. Extort some tribute. Um, we can't sadly go to war. Oh, we can go to war against him. Oh, well, let's look at that. Okay, we could go for a holy war on Edessa, but other Sunni leaders might, you know, join him in defending against that. So we're just going to take the little piece here. And a du jour claim. Before they get absorbed further. So that's, that's cool, I didn't know. I thought we would have a truce now, but we don't. So we're just going to go straight on to it. He doesn't have any troops. have any allies. But our allies will join us. Yeah, he wanted to come jump on me, but uh, he saw my reinforcements arriving. Oh, well, let's make sure we have a decent troop soldiers around here. Let's speed this up a bit. Okay. Uh, Jerusalem wants to make us their tributary. That's very unfortunate. Alright. 
Empress Isabel wishes to extort a flow of gold from the lands of Armenia. She is willing to send the soldiers to die for it, but am I as willing to send mine? I could surrender peacefully now and end this before my soldiers are potentially slaughtered. A family is left to die and villages burned to the ground. Or we fight to protect... Let's see. We could become a tributary by that. Or we fight. And I, I believe we're going to fight. Um, let's check. Money-wise, we're good. We're going to... Uh, let's see. She Is she leading her troops? She's leading troops in Ayefa. So she's probably going to come by sea, I would say. She has more troops than we. So we will be needing to employ some mercenaries. So we pick out our mercenary band that we want. Already. It's probably going to be the... What are they called? Yes, the Bulgarian band. What we're going to wait for is just for the appearance of our enemy on the battlefield. Until then, we're going to siege in this war. And once we see them coming... There they are. We're not going to raise our people right now because they would spawn here and they would be immediately slaughtered. So we wait for the enemy to walk on here, then we TTRL click this, hire them, move them around, join up, then we attack. That's the plan right now. So let them come into our capital. There we go. So now we hire these. Oh no, that's really unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Our no morale army is going to be attacked. And they will... Well, it, actually they didn't lose. Interesting. Usually you would have lost that. We can combine like this. And what well, we shall. How many troops you got? 1000. That's nothing. So we win the siege. Then we walk around and attack. And all will be well. Because until we arrive, let's make sure we got. Why are you switching around my people? So from them, we only really want a white piece. We don't care to fight Jerusalem for all it's worth. Matters of life and death. Oh. Okay then. Uh, yeah, let's start. Let's start that event chain on uh, trying to become immortal again, and let's see if we can get it this time. All right. So our white piece is pretty much secured. We gain prestige. They. Oh no. Okay, they're pretty convinced they're they're winning this. Uh, we will send our friend here. How long can we hold the... A little bit longer. Ah. Uh, come on now. Stop this. Wait for them to come back. They have 2,000. Yeah. We'll beat them once more and then... Once the siege is done, that should be enough. We'll just attack across this river. Go right with us. Okay, let's check our armies. Where do we stand? Okay, put these down. We don't need them anymore. 69%, eh? Alright. So we're gonna end on a white piece. They will just stop. Um, ten percent we die. Now we're gonna gonna get some help. We're now a drunkard, but life's what it is. Uh. Uh, 
Okay. I'm a little bit hesitant to spend our money on, on this, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Let's see how it works out. Oh, a lot of things have changed here. Designated regent. Keeper of swans. Master of hunt. All right, there we go. Now we speed this up again. We're just sieging down. Um, can you attach? What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, my ally apparently is involved in his own war. I bad position for us to be in. Okay, we could get another 300 if we re-raise. We definitely should do that. Let's do it. Let's bring our armies home. No, we didn't die. Our brother died. So wait, things are moving around a little bit. What's going on? It occurred to me that my wife... Uh... Yeah, okay, she... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we got the retinue army just now. And we also inherited all the land. So now we have a much stronger army on our own. While he is being... What are you fighting over? Holy War for Cyprus. Okay, we might just be losing Cyprus there. Not ideal. And there we go. We have a daughter of Zana. Combine, let's attack. Let's check. Got our daughter. Oh, she's a genius too. Lovely. She will go pride. Uh, we need something big around here to be our ally. Something actually big. I think Egypt is our best bet. Now they have no one. Okay, who we who can we betroth her to? Matrilineally, that gives us anything good. Italian, 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 Greek, Russian. Is there another genius in here? Now, is there someone who's strong in there? No. Okay, for now we leave her until we have a better potential heir. We leave it as it is. Are they still my tributary? No. We've lost one ally who is still in the war with us. Okay. Because they were absorbed in a new spy master. Because our brother unfortunately died. Very unforeseen. Could have ever imagined such a thing happening. Why do you hate us so much? Uh... Alright, okay. We're just going to speed through this war. I don't recommend going at such a high speed. It's just never, never a good idea. You miss things. You just miss things. But since we're just sieging... Oh, the king of Georgia would like... 
to betroth my sister. I'm in for it. And we can form an alliance. Where's Georgia even? It's right there. Far away. Let's form an alliance with him. We could call him into this war, but we're not gonna. Going to keep sieging here. The Knights Templar has established a new holding in the county of Acre. Okay. Fine. That. My courtier. We have a... We have an heir. An heiress. Okay. Now let's get this peace offer done. So this is now ours. And we also go back in speed settings. We have a small retinue of 250 men. Not the worst thing in the world. Okay, what can we do with you? Order dispute over Alexandria. And we would have the kingdom of Georgia on our side. How are you faring? 8,000. How are we faring, anyway? What's the highest we can go? Around 5,000. Okay. So we have an ally. We lost... We lost the vassal tributary. But we've gained an ally. So we could slowly eat ourselves into here. We could turn them into a tributary which we should probably do she's not weak not weak at all oh i think the ayubid broke apart oh how fortuitous fortuitous indeed that means we can wage war down here What should we go for? Dijur War and Tel Bashir? Holy War for... This doesn't sound too good. I mean, it's attractive. You look at all that land you would get, right? That's really attractive. You think that's a good idea. Really isn't. We're not going to go into a Holy War. We're going to press Dijur. That is what we aim for. And Georgia will help us. He's at war already. Attacking someone. She just is about to win. He can have a whole lot more troops though. So we have to attack now or be forever silent. Is basically what we need to do. So let's call them in. In my mind's eye, I already see us being stomped by this at some point. Can't we have a betrothal? Want my daughter? Oh. But they're not going to accept it. Because I'm an infidel, they're not going to do that. Okay, speed it up a little bit. Our Georgian ally is going to help. Our army is primarily assembled. The rest will follow soon. Oh no. Okay, we let them come to us. So they fight us. We have unyielding he has moral defense and defense plus 10 percent that's a lot so he should definitely lead the center and the rest usually next best but why are you so low on morale oh man why is this flank so low on morale the standard not a good situation to be in Okay, he's attacking into mountains and over a river. 
it's not going to get better for us from a military standpoint. Uh, who's Nasib? That guy. Nasib? Nasib reacts to the chief's, chief's punishment. He is the thief. He's going to be hanged. I don't care. Right, we'll have our army stock up and then we prepare to attack once everyone has arrived. But this is the speed I usually go on in wars. Let's wait for him to be locked in into the movement and then we attack. We have a Malice, but again, we don't want him to press any sort of advantage. And we should be fine. Numerical superiority and everything. A difficult one, but his first flank broke. Our flank broke center. Two flanks against his big center. His center broke. This is what those little dots there mean. No longer ambitious. Let us tell our ally to attach to us. You need vassal opinion. We're going to go on a hard diet. Honestly, carousing hasn't done us much good. We're going to switch to family. For now. I think the whole Mongol positivity campaign needs to come later in life. Let's tell our ally to siege here instead of joining us in a blob. My half brother. Wait. It was all useless, despite all the tormented nights spent laying awake in my bed, listening to the growling of my stomach, I cannot seem to lose any weight. So I... If fine, I'll eat something. That's a weird event there. We finish this siege and then we go... Take care of them, with our allies attached, of course. Come on, finish the siege. There we go. And have our ally attach. And we'll just go straight attack, because that is a plains area. Just make sure our leaders are okay. Okay, as it can be. Now we're attacking into a disadvantage across the river, but our allies on our heels, so it should be fine. Yeah, a traitor cannot be a marshal, that's true. So, time for a new marshal. No one who loves us. It'll be just this guy. Okay, so this is not looking good. This is looking real bad for us. Let's see if the reinforcements change the luck. Yes, it, they certainly do. As you can see, you, you need to really, really be careful in what you do. Okay, you want to marry my sister. You are this tiny thing. 
You also want my sister. Let's do this then. Do you want a different sister? No. Same sister. We can form another alliance up here. You want... Terabia, uh, you're too far away to help us in any way, shape, or form. What do we have left? Aren't you already betrothed to someone? Let's check our... Wow, we have a whole bunch of siblings. Why are you betrothed? Why are you married to that? Okay, there's a betrothal. Princess of Armenia? No. Duchess of Tao in Georgia. Yeah, let's do that. Um. Oh, the king of Egypt. There we go. The whole Latin Empire. A whole array of options here. Princes of the Holy Roman Empire. I never looked into that. Another princess of the Latin Empire. All right. Let's get some betrothals going here. And an alliance with the Egyptians. Not an alliance with the Holy Roman Empire. That would have been too cool. An alliance with a duchy as well. And they all agree. You need to be careful how often you call in allies. Kind of wears them down. And they become a little bit unhappy with that. We're not going to call them. We're not going to call them. We're not. We, we might call them actually because that's three thousand. It's just a duchy from a kingdom which we're already allied with, but it's a strong duchy. So these are really good actually. It's sometimes really sensible to have a an alliance both with a kingdom and a duchy or just a duchy. See how this works out. What did I not do just now? I didn't check my commanders. Family first, everyone should be happy. One regardless of my Sanafu. Yeah, let's have our darling daughter be kind. And once we're at peace, we can finally switch to Ultimo Genitor. So everything is inherited by the youngest potential successor. Which is to me just fantastic. So we'll do this little dance of Siege, Counter Siege, Break Siege, Relieve Siege, a little bit more. Yeah, it's definitely our concern that there is a Jihad against Egypt. We will 100% be joining that one, but first we need to win this. To expand our realm a little bit further. We get attack here now. We are left by our ally, which is fine. My wife is pregnant again. There's a thieves guild? What does that do? Everything. Yeah, we pay to stop those criminals. That.
Okay, we've won. Time to enforce our demands. Move our troops over here. And usurp the Emirate of Edessa for a bunch of gold. But we shall. Now we have de jour claim on all that. Save. Hours, all is hours. Time to get Ultimo Genitour going. Yeah, I want Ultimo Genitour, that's fine. Which puts my half brother in here, who's a lowborn. Very interesting. Absolute cognatic. Women inherit on the same grounds men do. That would be lovely. What do we need? Full status of women. That's what we're aiming for at some point. Okay, we have too many holdings. Which is a shame. Can't be helped. All right, we are requested to join a war and we will definitely join this war. We'll be fighting. Why are we in two wars at the same time? You are fighting for Tao, a holy war. You're also a holy war. I don't understand why these are two different ones. Bit odd. But we're basically fighting this guy who has 4,000. And this guy who has 4,000. How many troops can we raise right now? Not a lot. Not going to help him much. But I think should try and help best we can. Let's upgrade this so we earn a little bit more money. Raise all our troops. Join him. We need a court physician for our dear darling daughter. And we will also help Egypt, probably. Okay, do we want to be humble? We will go and help the sick. We're in love with our wife. Warriors. Did we not just give her away? That's fine. So we attach our arm here and leave him to hopefully do the right things. My wife is also... What is this even? Consumption and smallpox. Very unfortunate. We have another new heir, a new daughter. Youngest. So what will she become? Also proud. Get you a good matrilineal marriage. Maybe a genius or something. Someone strong? Nope. Someone quick? Nope. Someone attractive? Uh, no. That's... I wrote that wrong, so that is why it's... Check we need a new steward. 
Oh, Commander. Well suited for it, but him for that. Seneschal is dead. Long live the next Seneschal. Bonds. And a designated. Hates us to leave. Bye, Master. Alright, so right now we're just in wars that are not our own war. Uh, we lend our troops as best we can. I would like to help out Egypt as well, but oh, we can only be in one place at a time. And I feel like Egypt might have a bit of a better handle on the situation. Person, We have 21,000 troops against, what, 10,000. You should be fine, Egypt. You should be just fine. Our friend in the north here is... Uh, being dealt a much worse hand like and that was a really long one so out for now